Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and back with some more of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, well, we did quite a few things. We went through the Yika Clan hideout, and we retrieved the Thunderhelm. And in this episode, we're going to be doing this. We're fine. We got 15 Ambers off screen, and now we're going to show off the fourth level, and then we're going to continue uh, on to the actual... Uh, Divine Beast. Vod Naboris. Ah, sleeping underwater is not a good idea, as it turns out. You came to, to me to have your clothing enhanced, right? Power available to me, I can enhance your clothing to the max. Alright, so. Uh, let's see what we could do. Uh, this we could do as well. And so we and we could also do that. So, uh, let's go for the Hylian Trousers, since we wear that often with the Champion's Tunic. I'm not sure if there's a champion's trousers. Hopefully there is. I've never received it. But yeah, let's do it with the Highland Tunics since that's what we're testing it on. Here we go. Now close your eyes. She literally grabs Link and brings him into her... Oh my god, and she's like panting. Yeah, and Link is like basically down. Yeah, they had... They literally had sex. Another one down. Alright, so we're done. It seems you restored my sister's powers as well. If you ever need our power, just stop on by. Well, I'm headed home. Take care. Yeah, she literally brought us home with her. And, yeah, we like... It's definitely sex that they had. <laughs> Poor Link had to deal with a giant fairy like that. But yeah, <laughs> enough. Hopefully, once we're out of Gerudo Valley, we can stop with the innuendos and suggestive stuff. But yes, we finally got the Thunder Helm, and I showed that off finally. We're very close to the end. Holy shit. So, let's go show her the Thunder Helm, and we should be golden here. Uh, we should put on back on the facial mask, though. Where is it? There we go. So yeah, we're back at Gerudo Town. Let's show the Thunder Helm. Show that we've retrieved it. So we gained the trust of uh, what's her face? Not the uh, leader, but more so her guardian of sorts. Also, I do want to eventually show off the uh, the secret. Uh, place that that uh, they're talking about. Actually, hold on. Actually, before we go there, let me actually see if if they're those people that were talking about the passcode are still there. Cause maybe if they're asleep, maybe we could overhear it. I don't know. They're telling me the same thing. Okay, I think I may know what we have to do. Okay, I think I know what now. Alright, so you have to go into this building. And listen in through here. What's up with that little Hylian Vi any earlier, anyway? Forget her, just hurry up and tell them up the password, Yado. Oh, that's right, the password is... It's GSC Diamond. I overheard Sala talking about it. I'm sure it's right. GSC Diamond. So just in case... So yes, GSC Diamond is the passcode. So I'm not sure if it's different throughout every different playthrough, or if it's the same. But yeah, if you guys get anything different, let me know. I don't. I honestly don't know. But yeah, let's put that passcode in. The door should be here. I think that's it. G. S. C. Diamond. All right, you can come in. And with that, we get the secret shop. Hey, I haven't seen your face around here before. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a rare visitor. I guess I got have a suspicious mind, so maybe you don't you don't have to ask too many questions. I don't either. You're a member here now, so thanks for your privilege, your patronage. So we got it, and Sabasa. Elsewhere, it might have been Sa Savada or Savak, but it's always Sa here. It's always Sava. Sa -Sava. 
Girdle Secret Club, GSCs, for sure. Oh, okay, it's always, it's always the same thing. Despite it being illegal to sell Vogue clothing in this town, there is a high demand for such things. i never seen a Vogue disguise himself as a Vi, like you have, though. We each have something to hide, I suppose. Let's ignore that and move on with our business. Alright, so she only is selling these things. The Radiant Mask. Made by using Luminous Stone to trade materials. So yeah, if you get Luminous Stone in Rupees, you could buy these. Uh, you basically glow in the dark, which looks really cool, honestly. Recommend pairing it with the other clothing. So yeah, you do need to get those as well. They each cost 800. So if we do want to... Oh, we, they also have... The Desert Vaux Spadular. So, yeah, we could dress up as a male Gerudo. Anyways, uh, let's see what we could give her. Uh, let's give her at least, like, 20 of these. I mean, it's not really that much for the... The other stuff. And I think we'll need 200 more rupees to get the other thing. I know this one we're supposed to be, you know, doing our stuff, but, you know. Uh, seven should be good. 420, nice. Alright. Let's get the other two. We got the Radiant Shirt. Pearly's item, be sure to take care of it. And finally, the Radiant Heights. Uh, these are much more expensive. I think we'll get them later, though. They look really cool. So we got the Radiant Clothing. And I say, let's head and show them that we've retrieved the Thunder Helm. I know we've been holding it off a bit, but hey, why not? Let's show it off. Looking for Lady Riju. Okay, it's Riju. She's on the second floor. Normally, people aren't allowed to go onto her sleeping quarters, but she has given you permission. It seems. Be on your best manners. If she deems you to be a disturbance, to her I will not. It will not end well for you. Jesus. Anyways, let's head up. And there she is. Oh, you needn't say a word. As chief of the Gerudo, I can sense the power of an heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. I am, as you know, no doubt noticed, still but a child. The people look on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes, but even this brings me pain, I must admit. I tried so hard to be worthy of their love, to be a worthy chief, and to, and to prove to myself that I was worthy too. My family's heirloom was stolen. I felt as though a shadow had fallen over me. Yes, your arrival is admitted of all of this must be the work of Lady Urbosa. Now please give me the helm. Um, how do I look? And it seems once more... We're getting a <sighs> Ah, well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much, from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. 
She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this ceiling power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Babusa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> What's wrong? You're just staring, anyway. What matters now is... How... How is it? Do I look alright? I see. The threat the Divine Beast Von Boris poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe that Gerudo Town itself may be in danger before too long. As chief and as a Gerudo, I must find some way to stop that thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? <laughs> Who would have thought that, just before such a momentous battle, hearing a simple confident pledge of support from you would be what puts me at ease? I will head out now. Let's meet up at the lock post south of town. There's, on that there's only one way to get closer to Boris, and that's with the help of, the sa of a sand seal. But that post isn't too far from town, but you should take a sand seal there. You can get practice in that way. I'll be waiting for you with my favorite sand seal, Patricia. And she's still readjusting it. Still, it is really big. Alright. So let's head off there right now. Uh, I'm sorry if I was like trying to readjust the volume during the cutscene. Hope it came out well. Uh, Rubosa is my favorite of the champions. I love her. Uh... And I just really like that cutscene a lot. It's very funny. I remember just enjoying her character when I first saw that scene, especially laughing quite a bit when she scared Zelda with her uh, lightning, which is one of the most broken powers. You'll see why there's a bunch of lightning, and it's for a very good reason. Anyways, oh my god, we're going to be freezing our asses off. Anyways, we should be getting close to it. Uh, oh wow, okay. I, this thing is really weird, especially how like your skateboard, when your board just like slides in and out like that. And, let's head here. I'm shocked, despite what the chief said, I wasn't expecting someone as short as you, but the chief must have her reasons for believing you can fight the divine beast. He's way at the top of the outlook post. Alright, well, and opening this, we get a golden bow for a quick shot, but our inventory is full. Uh, where do we climb up to get there? Um, let's try flying up there. Whee! What the fuck? Did you guys see that? That, like, knocked us in, like, a weird way. I mean, we aren't gonna have this for a while, so fuck it. Let's do it. Whee! 
There we go. What a sight. The Divine Beast Von Boris is pretty intimidating. If we get close enough to that thing, we'll need the use of sand seals. Are you ready? Feeling confident? Good. Let's get going, then. First, we'll use the sand seals to get in really close to that thing, and I'll take the lead. Count on you to shoot that thing at its feet with bomb arrows. Naboris draws energy from the ground to keep from the ground to keep moving. If you damage the feet, I think you can stop it. Those lightning strikes, though, getting hit even once could prove fatal. A thunder elm could re repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm. But it can also shield the limited area around me. You'll have to, you'll have to stay close if you don't want to be shocked. And listen, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll retreat here to the lookout outpost. Don't do anything reckless under any circumstances. Here's some Gerudo bomb arrows. There aren't many, so be sure to put them to good use. Alright, so we got 20 of them. This time we'll ask, are you ready? Alright, here we go. We have to shoot at the feet. Could you give me a bit of room just for a moment? My name is Riju, descendant of the royal line and leader of the Gerudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall calm the divine beast Von Boris. Answers of the Gerudo, answer my call. Aid me in this task. Oh wow, I can feel their power coursing through me. And of course she has to readjust it. Let's move. Lady Arbosa, please grant Link and me your protection. Alright, sorry for the cut there. But this is the last attempt was a failed attempt. And it was really bad. Controlling this thing is very weird, and obviously staying out of the Vonaboris' zone. Oh, and there's also a shrine nearby, so I guess we'll have to do that after we're done with Vonaboris. So yeah, I recommend do coming here with a lot of food. I actually cooked all, a lot off screen after the failed, the failed first attempt. And there it is, it's charging up electricity. Yes, it will use that to fire it down upon you. It's annoying. Yeah, when you have, once you have that blue thing right on top of you, yeah, you best start dodging it. And there you go. And there it is, Divine Beast Von Naboris. Now, I recommend... Oh my god, hold back. It actually sounds like a fucking... I'm gonna need Royal Bow, why not? Okay, that's one. Two. Three. And we're gonna need that last one. Oh, no, 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 go! No! Oh my god! Oh my god, okay, okay. We're having much better luck at least in this one. And boom! We got it! We took ourselves out with it, but still. <laughs> it was much worth it. And yes, it's very much like a camel. Has the two humps on its back as well. Yep, and it sits down just like one as well. Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. 
I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. All right, so we finally boarded Von Boris, and I think we're going to end it off there. A lot of my videos have that like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Next time on the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we'll be taking on the final divine.